hi guys and welcome to today's video so today's video is going to be my top 10 fruity florals for the summer so i was gonna do my top 10 fresh and tropical and hopefully my fruity florals will land in one or the other but there's just way too many so i do have a top 10 some of these might roll into my fresh because they're extremely fresh but these are definitely more I would say fruity in my opinion a little bit more juicy so before we get started i wanted to shout out my girl mj so this is a necklace that she sent me and she's gonna be doing her line very soon you guys know i love jewelry this is a layered necklace i know she really loves more antique style gold and you can really see that with the pieces that she picked they're not that super yellow gold she likes more of that realistic kind of finish to it very beautiful piece thank you mj for sending this to me i really appreciate it so be on the lookout for mj labels and that should be coming very soon and without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video hey guys editing becky here so before we get into my 10 i did go ahead and add in four more loves of mine to this fruity floral category only because in my next fresh video which i've already filmed you're also going to see me in that one i'm going around editing my videos i said i'm going to stop doing like top tens i'm still going to be doing top perfume videos because they're popular but i'm not going to limit myself anymore because honestly i've gotten my collection down to loves so i don't feel right leaving some out so they're all loves so why am I going to limit myself? Before we get into the 10, we're going to go over four more. Now, the first one I'm going to mention were in my springtime, my top springtime perfumes. And that is Montpetit's Floral and Kaoli's Deja Vu White Flower 57. I tend to like to wear florals during springtime, but I love fruity florals year round because I'm a fruity floral kind of girl. So Montpetit Parfum Floral by Yves Saint Laurent. This is described as floral, white floral, rose, fresh, citrus, musky, fruity, woody, powdery, and sweet. And the notes they have listed are peach, citruses, peony, white rose, the Tuda, orange blossom, magnolia, jasmine sambac, musk, cashmere and wood, and patchouli. And this is a very easy grab in my collection i absolutely love monpetti or the parfum it's like one of my favorite fruity florals it's got like this booziness it's flirty fun and this is just a fresh take on it more every day easy to pop on to run errands grab lunch and this is the limited edition bottle so again that's monpetti floral all right and then we have k Kaali's Deja Vu White Flower 57. This is more floral to me. Like I always say that this is more of a floral fruity instead of a fruity floral. But there's still a juiciness to this. You definitely get the fruits in it. But this is described as white floral, woody, sweet, vanilla, fruity, patchouli, powdery, tuberose, and balsamic. And this has nectarine, gardenia, pear, orange blossom, Indian jasmine, tuberose, Tahitian vanilla, patchouli, cashmere wood, and sandalwood. And this one I would say is more summer nights. I would wear this. Just because it gets really hot and I can see this maybe getting a little annoying in the dead of summer, but definitely like a transitional scent. Like spring going into summer, summer nights, and then like summer going into fall is what I would put this in. This is a very pretty fruity floral that I knew needed to go in here. And then this one is newer to my collection, but this is like a love already. I already put a dent in this. And this is Scandal Apari. And this is a fresher, more flirty version of By Night. I get the same tuberose honey that I get in uh, Scandal By Night. I get it in this one, but this one has a freshness to it and a fruitiness so it makes it a little bit more flirtatious and that one more sexy like that one's deeper it's got cherry but this one is described as honey sweet fruity white floral floral aquatic and fresh so there is like a freshness to this one but this one has pear jasmine and honey and i'm sure there's definitely more notes because i feel like 
most of the Jean Paul Gaultier perfumes, they only list three on, on the site, but this one definitely has two burrows. It has that same buttery two burrows that I get in Bite Night. Like it starts off like kind of bubble gummy, but then gets more buttery as it dries down. But again, that's Scandal Apari. All right, and then this last one, I don't know how I missed it. Well, I know how I missed it. It's, it's all the way on my top shelf and I just overlooked it, but this is a scent that I wear year round and I am really looking forward to wearing it in summer because it's just an epic fruity floral. And that is Signorina Miel by Fragranza. And this is an inspiration of Miss Dior's Shetty. Unfortunately, that's one I never got my hands on before it got discontinued, but I absolutely adore this inspiration. And it's juicy, fruity. There's all kinds of notes in this one. This is fruity, sweet, woody, citrus, but truly earthy, caramel, and tropical. And this has top notes of wild strawberry, pineapple, mandarin orange, cherry, caramel, popcorn, jasmine, rose, violet, patchouli, ambergris, and musk. And honestly, I don't get caramel or popcorn. Everything in here is just beautifully blended. This has these really juicy kinds of fruits all mixed in together. It's like strawberry, pineapple, mandarin, cherry. This is one that I would put in the same scent family as Mon Petit. They don't smell the same, but when I had first got Mon Petit, I felt like I got close to um, Misty or Sherry. And then of course when I wore them side by side, they weren't the same, but they do fall in that same kind of boozy, fruity, floral category. This one's just more juicy and it's, it's different. I think the popcorn and the caramel, which again, I don't get them in here, but just all those notes blended just make this one of a kind in my opinion. I don't know why they discontinued that, that scent, but this is one that I'm definitely looking forward to wearing in the summer. But yeah, guys, I wanted to pop in here real quick and go over those four, but let's go ahead and get back into the list. All right, so first up, I'm gonna talk about these two hand in hand because they're similar. But that is Amethyst by Lalique and Meliora by Parfum de Mali. And both of these perfumes are by the same perfumer and they do vibe very similar. So as a consumer, you don't need both, but as someone who loves perfume, there are differences in both of these that makes me like them each for a different reason. So we'll start with Amethyst. Amethyst is described as fruity, sweet, woody, floral, and rose. And this has notes of black currant, blackberry, blueberry, mulberry, big strawberry, a lot of berries. There's pepper, peony, rose, ylang ylang, musk, woody notes, and bourbon vanilla. And for me, this is very similar to Meliora, but this has a booziness. This smells like sangria that's been chilling and ice. I've said this before. It's kind of tangy and it's a little bit more green than Meliora, but very mouth-watering, very juicy. And then Meliora is, again, vibes very much the same. They smell the same, but this one's more blended and, and it's more clean. This is more of the daytime, a little bit more put together, and I would say Amethyst is more going out, boozy, kind of sexy, but they, they vibe very similar. And let me show you a close-up of the bottle. So here is Amethyst by Lalique. I think the bottle's really pretty, simple, purple. And then here is Meliora. And then next up, we have Lancome's Idol. And this is described as rose, musky, fruity, sweet, white floral, powdery, floral, citrus, aquatic, and fresh. And this has pear, bergamot, Turkish rose, rose de mai, Indian jasmine, white musk, and vanilla. And this is just an easy grab for me. Like this made it into my top easy grab summer since last year. This is like a daily for me. People say it's shampooy, it's clean. This one is fresh, but it's got that pear in the opening. It's definitely a fruity floral. It's just more of a fresh fruity floral. So that's why I made it in my fruity florals, but it might make it in my fresh because there is a really pretty freshness to it from the musk 
and you know the rose but it's simple and pretty and a compliment getter people say it smells like shampoo you're smelling like the best shampoo <laughs> so but again that's lancome's e-doll all right next a lot of these are repeat offenders because now that i'm doing it like this where i do like perfumes I want to revisit in my top, you're going to see repeat offenders. And this one definitely made it in the list last year. And that is Dolce & Gabbana's Limpatrice 3. This is more of a sweet, fruity floral, but not like rotten. I know some people get rotten. I don't get rotten. This is just a very sweet, fruity floral. But don't think honey. Just think of, I don't know who came up with it, but it is perfect. It's like a giant fruit salad it's been sitting out in the sun and then all that juice on the bottom that's what this is and there is a slight tartness which i feel balances it out it's the rhubarb that's what to me keeps this from going like rotten but this is described as fruity ozonic aquatic green sweet tropical fresh aromatic and this has kiwi rhubarb pink pepper watermelon cyclamen jasmine lemon tree musk and sandalwood this might make it into my tropical list as well. They might overlap because this definitely has a tropical vibe to it. So, and again, that is Limpatrice by Dolce and Gabbana. This one is gonna make it into two videos and that is Delina La Rose. Just because this is a fruity floral, but this is very, very fresh. So this is described as floral, fresh, rose, aquatic, fruity, musky, tropical, woody, and powdery. This isn't overly tropical to me. This is a very fresh fruity floral. Like extreme, this is probably one of my freshest fruity florals. It's a very aquatic, very summertime chilled version of Delina. So this has lychee, pear, bergamot, peony, Turkish rose, watery notes, floral, white musk, woody notes, and Haitian vetiver. Yeah, so this is probably gonna make it in both of my lists, but it's not overly fruity, but it is, it is fruity. It's just very fresh and aquatic. And again, that is Delina La Rose. So next up on the list is La Vie Belle en Rose. Super pretty, super girly, super pink, yeah. So this is fruity, rose, sweet, floral, fresh, woody, powdery, musk, patchouli, and iris. And I do get the La Vie Belle DNA in here but it's just more of a young, flirty rose version of it. This has raspberry, red berries, pink pepper, bergamot, damask rose, rose, peony, lily of the valley, patchouli, musk, iris, and sandalwood. This is very pretty and uplifting. It is one of my favorite of the Livia Bell lines. I know I love the OG, but I like that this carries the OG very, very lightly. It's not strong at all. It's just a very young, rosy pink version of it oh, yeah so again that is la vie about and rose and this is the uh the l'eau de toilette but it performs really well for being a l'eau de toilette okay next we have victor and rolf and this is from the magic collection and this is dancing roses and recently i let go of angel nova because these vibed very much the same to me and it's the cherry opening in this one. But this is described as cherry, sweet, rose, fruity, nutty, warm, spicy, woody, almond, tropical, and soft, spicy. This is another one that could definitely be tropical. Yeah, this might land in my tropical one. There is something kind of mouth-watering, very uh, cherry liqueur about this one. I've said that before, but this has sour cherry, brandy, rose, lychee, pink pepper, and saffron. And I like this one because of the different stages that it takes. It opens up with that cherry liqueur. I don't know if there's patchouli, but there is something that comes off a little kind of medicinal, but it's not very long. And then this turns into a very rosy lychee kind of like delina a little spicy so i do like this one like the name would imply it dances on your skin it's a perfume that really develops and changes so i really enjoy it that's why i picked this one over angel nova angel nova wasn't bad it was just very linear on my skin and got a little obnoxious but it was a 
pretty juicy kind of mouth-watering scent. I just prefer this one. This one kind of takes me more on a ride, I would say. This one did get a little obnoxious on me the other day because I oversprayed it, so less is definitely more with this scent. And again, that is Dancing Roses by Victor and Rolf, The Magic Collection. Okay, another fruity floral that I'm, I'm already enjoying now and I know I'm gonna enjoy for the summer, I wear it on a lot of my walks, is Justin Bieber's The Key. I just love this bottle. This is probably one of my top celebrity scents. Like if I had to pick like a top five, this would definitely make it in there. This is really good for being a celebrity scent. This is fruity, sweet, floral, musky, pottery, and aquatic. And this has pear, boysenberry, mandarin orange, osmanthus, peach, water lily, pink jasmine, musk, vanilla, raspberry, and woodsy notes. And it's just a clean, shampoo-y, a luxurious kind of smelling fruity floral. Absolutely beautiful. And it does not smell like a celebrity, nor does it smell like a affordable scent. It actually smells very luxurious to me. Okay, and then last is uh, Soleil by Lalique. But this, oh my goodness. The longer I have this perfume, the more I love it. I know I was a little harsh on it, not harsh, but I just, I didn't like the price. Cause Alik is affordable. So the price did bother me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I just said it wasn't worth the price, but I would run out and get this perfume again. But this perfume is sweet, fruity, like tonic, warm, spicy, almond, citrus, nutty, caramel, coffee, and white floral. You know, I've never noticed that coffee, I do not get coffee in this scent, but this is bitter almond, mandarin orange, cardamom, pear, milk, Candied almond, caramel, coffee, jasmine, praline, sandalwood, and white musk. I know I've read these notes before and I've never really, coffee's never stood out on me. This for me is about the opening, which is cardamom, the almond, and the mandarin. You definitely get orange in the opening and like that spicy cardamom. And then it does have a nuttiness. And then there's fruit, which is the pear. And then this has like a lectonic kind of milkiness making it different. I definitely bought this because of the bottle because these notes are a little crazy. This is another golden hour scent. This and my Olympia, but Olympia is more fresh to me. This definitely has a fruitiness, but it leans more not on like a sweet, pinky kind of fruit. It's definitely that juicy pear and mandarin. It's definitely a fruity floral. But I don't want to say citrus because when I think of citrus, I think of a zesty lemon. It's more of a juicy orange and pear. And then it's got the cardamom that makes it a little bit more like warm, spicy. And then with that lectonic note, it just makes it warm, but not gourmand, which I love. It's a very warm, fruity floral is the best way to describe it. So again, that's Soleil by Lalique. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what are your top fruity florals. But that will do it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.